Hello and thank you for joining us today as we are talking about Bible prophecy. We see that the Word of God has come true. The Word of God concerning the times of the end has come true and it's all around us. And so if you've seen my videos, you may understand that now. The Bible specifically said that as Jonas and Jambres withstood Moses, so do they, the people of the last days, resist the truth. And we understand what the truth is. Jesus is the truth. It says, I am the vine, he's the vine, he's a foundation, he is the precious corner, a sure foundation, he is the light of the world. And we understand that the people of the last days, they have done in like manner with their enchantments, which means they have built a vine. Their vine, of the vine of Sodom, the electrical grid, the electrical wires is the vine of Sodom, their vine of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah as they manipulated the electromagnetic fields and they have encoded their data, their, their all of it, all of it is encoded into electrical fields and those are the fields of Gomorrah. Those two things are their vine. That is the world that they have created. Their vine of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. But much more than that, electricity is their foundation. We have seen that. It is their cornerstone. We have seen that and definitely it is the light of their world. All these things are what Christ ought to be. He is the true vine. He is the light of the world. He is the foundation. He is the cornerstone. He is the truth. And he is the truth that they resist in the last days. And we have seen they did this according to the plan, according to the scripture. They have fulfilled it. Even the 400 years, the 400 years prophecy that said, God told Abram that his seed, the seed of Abraham, would be in a land not theirs for 400 years. And then after that, the judgment, and that is when Moses came in and the magicians of Egypt withstood him. And we see that same pattern in our time. Columbus came to the new world. 1492, the seed of Abraham, the seed of Abraham in a land not theirs. 400 years later, you get the world's Columbian exposition where the magic city is built and all the electricity really starts to flow in earnest as they built an entire city to showcase to the world electricity and its power. So as we see that, we know that the people of the last days, the wise men of the last days, the magicians, the electrical wizards, they have cast down their rods and we saw that what they built is the world that we now live in and what their devices, specifically the AC motor that is connected all the wiring is connected to that. The AC motor, 1888 is the patent date. May 1st, 1888. And we saw that this 1888 is numbered. It's a word in the Bible. Behold, lo, even as, that is what the word is translated or means. H, 1888, it is translated lo. And we see that it is connected, numbered with G1888. We saw this in my last video and it said that this word is caught in the very act. And we saw that the very act that's caught in is adultery. They say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. And this is part of the writing in the wall as it points to the very act, the patent that created or the patent for the AC motor and that today is still used at the end of the vine. If you were to follow the vine all the way back, it would be connected to a machine, the AC motor that was patented in 1888. This is caught in the very act. As we see the writing on the wall, all pointing to this and even the words of God, the words have been numbered and the words have been numbered and this kingdom has been numbered and we will continue to see it see it over and over again. As you go about your daily lives, you see it all around you. As you drive to work, you see the vine hanging on their cross. I mean, what more do you need? The evidence is all around you. The writing is on the wall all around us. And now, now that we see it, what are we to do? What are we to do about this? If you see this and you understand and in your spirit, man, you recognize and know that it's true. It rings true to you and you can't deny it. As you go around, you see that you are indeed swallowed up by their power, their vine, and you can see that they have built a massive system of idolatry. Now, what can we do? It's not up to us. We were just born here. I was born and it was already here. I didn't do this. Most likely none of you watching this video had anything to do with this. And what are we to do? Are we to move out to the country, move out and become a mountain man and have a family out there? I, I don't think so. That is not what's in store. We, we are not, 
we are not the ones in charge of this. We didn't do this, but God will handle it, as we will see. As we'll see in my next set of videos, we're going to look at what happens to the vine, to the vine of Sodom. What happens as this thing plays out? Once we identify the vine of Sodom, their vine, as the electrical system, the wireless system, once we identify that, we can just follow through the verses, specifically from Deuteronomy 32, and see what will happen in the very near future. What will happen? So we're going to work through that in my next series. So thank you for joining us. And please like this video, subscribe to this video, share these playlists. Uh, my sign of fire is signoffire.com. That's the website. Yeshua is coming.com as well because Jesus is coming. Thank you very much.